Hey guys, um, Kylie here. So what I wanted to do was take a minute and talk about uh, the plan for the month of June. And this is going to take the place of our team call tonight because I have a softball game and I'm not sure what time it'll get, it will get done. Um, so this is going to kind of take the place of that tonight. So hopefully you can find some time to watch this um, and then post any questions or things that you have below. So um, if you look at this calendar here, like the month is pretty similar to what it's been before. Um, there's a few changes and I'm, we're trying to add um, some more uh, training type things in because I truly think that um, trainings are kind of what push you and what motivate you and what keep you on track. So especially those of you that are newer coaches, we really want to get you started on the right foot and get you those skills to succeed. So um, I'll just kind of walk you through the month. Hopefully you saw what I posted earlier in the group, but the June promotions, yay, are the 21 Day Fix and 21 Day Fix Extreme, both at 140, and then the 21 Day Fix Kickstart and Extreme Kickstart, which includes the three-day refresh as well as Shakeology and the program is at 180, which is still a really great deal. Um, they're saving about $10 on the refresh or so, so it's pretty um, a really good deal with that. Um, so those are the promotions. They are supposed to go live sometime tonight or today, and I'm not sure what time that is. So um, I know some of you are hoping that you can snag some people for the month of May. And as soon as I hear anything, I will let you know. Um, but otherwise, what I have done, if you have somebody that wants to jump in, I would just keep refreshing your um, coach mobile app until somebody um, commits so, or until it changes. So that's what I would do if I were you. Um, so those are our promotions. Uh, new coach training is going to kick off tomorrow. I'm going to get the group opened up here shortly. So if you have some new coaches that are in there for training, uh, add them. I will post that in the group as soon as it, it is open, and then you can get those ladies in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to start on a Wednesday. It's different than a Monday, but um, just figure June 1st, beginning of the month, it'll be fine. So um, coach training will kick off tomorrow. Our challenge groups, we just had one start yesterday, and then we have a new group starting the 6th and the 20th. I know we have two groups back-to-back, -back, um, but what I can do is the group that's on the 30th, um, one, two, three, that won't be the problem. It's the 6th that'll go one, two, three, and then, or one week, two week, three week, four weeks. Um, they will, they'll be off a little bit, but we'll make sure um, to get those people either rolled into the new group or um, just extend that group for a week. So that way they can still have a place to post and still have a place to participate. Um, the three vital, vital, vital behaviors on, and this is something that I'm going to kind of, kind of create as we go. My thought is that this is a um, addition to the new coach training. So if you were just involved in the new coach training um, for May, I would really suggest jumping in this three vital behaviors training. Um, we're going to talk a lot about inviting. We're going to talk a lot about posting. Um, and we're going there to be daily assignments, that kind of thing. It's a group that you will need to be active in. If you are not active, you are not participating, um, I'm either just going to um, – remove you from the group or have your coach talk to you, um, whatever it might be, just because we want this group to be um, uplifting and moving forward. And for those of you that want to move this forward and are serious about this business, um, we want to focus our attention on you and help you. So this would be a great group for those of you that just finished new coach training and are wanting to move on. And if you're a newer coach, um, maybe this is your third month coaching, second month, fourth month, um, six month coaching, whatever it might be, this will be a great group for you as well. So pretty much for everybody, um, but especially those of you that are newer to coaching. Um, so that will kick off on Monday. Again, I'll open that group up and get you guys added in, um, as you want to. I would not recommend somebody doing new coach training and the three vitals training. Um, my focus is that this vitals training takes place after new coach training. So don't stick somebody in both groups just stick them in one for now. Um, team calls, we are going to move them to Tuesday mornings at 9 o'clock um, a.m. Central Time. Uh, the reason, I know some of you still, you have work, you have day jobs, I get that. Um, but for me, summer nights are busy. And I would rather have a team call where, you know, I always record them anyways. 
I would rather have a call where um, three or four of you are on and we can talk about things rather than um, me having to cancel all the time. So um, the only conflict I know of right now is on the 21st. I have a um, day long class that I have. So if somebody wants to step up and run that call on Tuesday, the 21st, let me know. Otherwise we'll just do another video like this or you know, just have the day off or whatever. So, um, again, I know there's no perfect time to do a call. Everybody always has a conflict. Um, but if you can jump on, even if you're at work, if you can just turn it on and put an ear, put, um, a headphone in or whatever, you know, um, but I'll always record and we'll talk about things, um, and go from there. So plus that frees up your nighttime. I know a lot of the other calls are switching to days too in the summer. Um, so yeah, so plan on that nine o'clock AM central time for those team calls for, and then July, I might be able to move on more over lunch hour. Uh, it just right now with my softball schedule and lunch hour for most days doesn't work. So I'm um, going from there. Um, your goal is to keep you on track hitting success club by success club five by the 10th should definitely be your goal. Um, it just kind of relays some um, stress off of you. And so then you can focus a little bit more on continuing to invite, continuing to build your vital behaviors and so on. Um, the next week, the 13th, we're going to have a free group. I know Abby and Megan are kind of working on that. I think we're going to take kind of a similar approach to last free group. Um, just cause we had a lot of, um, traction and stuff. So we're going to try and make it more of like an exercise and an eating type of one. Um, but that's, um, something that they're working on. So they'll get us the details as soon as that's ready to go. Um, Abby is also going to work on a posting calendar for you guys too. So um, she's going to dabble in, you know, when you should be inviting to things, what you should be posting about, that kind of thing to help some of you that are newer. Uh, then we're going to do a new coach call on the 15th um, at eight o'clock central time. So those of you that are in the new coach training, um, you want to jump on and ask some questions, those kind of things. That's kind of an informational session for you. You'll be in training for two weeks and we can answer those questions that you have. Uh, the 20th, a new challenge group. And then, um, towards the end of the month, I always try to shoot for like the 27th, the last four or three days in the month hitting that success club 10, because by the end of the month, you know, it's, it seems like the end of the month is a downhill slide. And so I always try to hit my goals before the end of the month. So I'm not so stressed at the end. I can focus more on the beginning. Um, and then, sorry. And then the 29th, I know it's kind of messed up. Like, even though this is technically the first week of June, like I'm looking at this as the first week of June. So like here's week one, week two, week three, week four. So like the 29th, that's when we would run our coach sneak peek. And then new coach training, I believe, um, probably not start on July 4th, right? Would that be, um, probably start on like July 5th or something like that. Um, that way we can let go of the holiday weekend and start that on the 5th. And then we'll have three vitals training again. And then in July, I also want to do a push to diamond group. So my focus is that you're going from new coach training you're doing the three vital behaviors. You have those nailed down, and then we push you to the next rank advancement, which would be to, um, to diamond. That will be a more serious group. Um, that will have a little bit more of, um, I, how do I want to say it, like a buy-in, basically. The last diamond push group we did, you paid 20 bucks to get in, and then when you hit diamond, you split the pot with everybody that hit diamond. So 10 people were in there, then there's 200 bucks. Two people hit diamond, each of them got 100 bucks. So um, the reason being is I think when you invest money into something, you put a lot more effort into it. For whatever reason, there's a prize out there. You just, you're more dedicated. So look for that to come in July. Um, and we will kind of continue to build on these trainings and continue to push you. And then in August, for those of you that hit diamond in that push group, then we'll have like a diamond now what group and just kind of continue to move you on and plug you into things as we go. Um, and so the other calls that are around the network, I know some of you, I always try to post the recordings or post the links when I find them. Um, but our, our upline coaches, they do a call on Monday nights, um, sometimes Monday nights at 9 PM central time. Um, I don't think there was one last night. They usually post about that. I'll try to share that with you guys too. Again, I don't know if they're changing that or they're keeping that the same, um, Royal Republic, which is our uplines, uplines, uplines coach. Um, she is, has her calls with other coaches at Wednesdays at 1130 AM central time. 
She also has some calls on Monday nights, which I tried to share with you or share the recordings. Um, but that Wednesday is at 1130. That's really a good one for you guys to catch. And then the dream team, which is our uplines, 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 uplines coach. Um, the dream team is also Melanie. She's the top coach in all of Beachbody. Um, her calls are Mondays at 8 p.m. Central Time. But I know she's changing them for the summer, and I didn't hear her say when for sure, so I couldn't change it on this calendar. Um, but I know she's switching hers to the daytime too. I almost want to say like Monday at like 8 or 9 a.m. Central Time. So um, as soon as I know that, I will make sure to post it in the comments here so you guys know that. So, <clears throat> so that is kind of a plan for the month. Um, again, what I like to do is, um, I really try to focus on my posting and how I'm advertising and so challenge group. So this week you should be posting about the challenge group. We should be posting about the 21 day fix. Um, you don't want to say 21 day fix is on sale. Message me. No, you want to share about what has that program done for you? Um, in the group, I asked for your, if you guys would be willing to share your transformation pictures with me just because I feel like mine are kind of burnt out. But I want people to see like what that first round does for you. And um, if you didn't just listen to the National Wake Up Call yet from Autumn Calabrese that she did yesterday, you need to jump on that and listen to that because she talked about the 21 Day Fix. She talked about her purpose behind it. Um, she talked about how um, it's meant to be a program that you do three or four or 11 times before you move on. Talked about how knowing when to move on and how to know um, and what kind of results you can expect and those kind of things. So I took a lot from it just from her, like hearing what she really intended for that program to do and for it to be. So if you haven't jumped on, listen to that. Take notes and take those tidbits and talk about that in your post. Share your story. To share about your story with the 21 Day Fix. What results did you have? Um, what kind of um, changes did you make? You know, it takes 21 days to break a bad habit, but it takes 21 days to create new ones too, hence the three weeks. That's not something you do for three weeks and then you quit. You're magically at your body that you want. No, like you have to continue. You have to work on that. So find some ways to creatively talk about that. Um, because I know that we always have big months when the 21 day fix is on sale. Um, same thing then the second week, you know, I usually try to post about the free group. Um, once or twice I post and talk about that. And then the week of the 13th, then again, you're promoting that challenge group. You're talking about that again. Um, and then from after that last challenge group, then you're talking about coaching and you're talking about what that opportunity has done for you. Here's something that I want to try and snap out of your guys' heads right away because I am trying to snap my head out of it right away is to post about coaching and talk about coaching. Don't be scared of it. Okay. Um, think about what it's done for you. Think about how much of a blessing coaching has been for you. Has it pushed you out of your comfort zone? Has it made you more confident? Has it given you a little bit of extra money for your bills? Has it brought you to a group of women? You know, whatever it is, whatever that reason is, use that and talk about that because there's somebody else out there that needs that too. Right. And I am trying so hard to remove that, that stigma that I have of, of posting about coaching and sharing about it. It's not a bad thing. So newer coaches, especially, I want you to really step out of your comfort zone and talk more about coaching in this week, um, during the 20th and so on. And then again, the last week you are, you know, pushing for that next challenge group starting in July. Okay. So if you have questions about the plan for June, let me know. Um, I think with the challenge groups, it went really well with doing that point system. So I think we'll continue to try that and see how that goes. If you have any other ideas for ways to spice up the challenge groups, let me know. Um, I'm always, um, you know, we definitely want to make that the forefront and the main focus of our business. So definitely let me know if you have any other ideas for that. The other thing I wanted to share with you <clears throat> is we are going to run our own June Team Cup. Um, so if you've been on a Team Cup before, then you know kind of what it's about. But I know we have a ton of new coaches who have maybe never done a Team Cup. And so I want to kind of explain it a little bit. Usually this is something that Beachbody does. Um, and they have them in, I think it was November and then it was February. And I always thought there was one in the summer, but there must not be. 
Um, and then there'll be one in August. So I've been on three team cups um, since I've been a coach. And the first one, I don't, I was like a brand newbie coach. I didn't really know what was going on. But the other two groups, my team has won both times. And the last time we were in the top 25 out of like over 10,000 teams or something like that, some insane number. So um, these team cups are kind of uh, what make me flow, what make me go, what make me motivated. And so I thought maybe I would try to bring some of that motivation to our team and to try and propel us forward. Because I know in February when we had the team cup, Everybody was pushing. Everybody had a lot of energy. And I feel like we've kind of slowly gone like this. And it's the time of the year. It's spring. It's summer. But that doesn't mean that we have to give up, right? This means that this is the time where you have to push harder. So we're going to do our own team cup. This is not through Beachbody. This is just through our team. Um, so let me give you a little um, incentive, a little talk, a little details about it. So we're going to have teams of three. We may have to have a team of four. And if we do, then I'll just adjust your points a little bit so that way it's fair. So, um, you know, maybe for tier one, you'll have to get like 13 points instead of four or instead of 10 to get that um, to that tier and so on. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have like this tickle and I can't cough because my head hurts and all this stuff. So, um, so this is going to run from June 1st to June 30th. So we're going to start tomorrow all the way through the end of the month. Here are your tiers and here are your prizes. Tier one, your team of three earns 10 points, plus you personally have to get Success Club five. <coughs> so you have to hit Success Club five and your team has to get 10 points to earn a PD book and a headband. That's your prize for tier one. Tier two is your team total at least 25 points and you have to get Success Club five. So the first number, the points, is what you get as a team. The success club is what you personally get. So as a team, you get um, the three of you earn together 25 points, plus you get success club five, and you earn this cute little girl boss coffee mug, which if you don't like coffee, you can make your energize in it. You can just drink water out of it to be cool, whatever you got to do, or set it on your desk, whatever it might be. Um, tier three is... Um, you as a team get 45 points, plus you get Success Club 10. You get Success Club 10, and this is what you're t then you will earn, is a coach with a heart and a dumbbell tank top, which is pretty sweet, right? Um, so how do you get these points? One Success Club point equals one Team Cup point. So that means, um, if you sell a challenge pack, you get two success club points, you get two team cup points. Um, rank advancement. So let's say you have a personally sponsored coach who is a coach. Um, on Thursday, they rank advanced to Emerald. You would get two points because you or your personally sponsored coach, no, rank advancement equals one team point. So you would get one point because your personally sponsored coach rank advanced to Emerald. If somebody rank advanced to Emerald and then you advance to Diamond because of that, you would then get two points because you, you, your coach went to Emerald and you went to Diamond. So that would be two points. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, I will do my best to keep track of this, but if you are kind of the leader on the team too, if you can kind of um, help out and keep track of this as well, um, that would be beneficial too. But it'll start tomorrow. So rank advancements that happen tomorrow um, or on Thursday – throughout the end of the month. <clears throat> so basically, what I would do is when we get our team set up, I would take this 45 points. You divide it by three, that's 15 points each. So each person needs to shoot for 15 points. Look at that, you need Success Club 10 anyways to get the top prize. So you shoot for Success Club 10 and then you shoot for five more points. Whether that be you rank advance, whether that be you sell three more challenge packs, Whatever it might be, you have that goal of getting 15 points. Or maybe you decide as a team, you know what, let's just go for tier two. We want 25 points. Okay, then that means each of you needs to go for eight. And one of you needs to get nine. Okay, or whatever it might be. So what I need you to do is if you want, I'm going to post this in the team page. If you want to participate in the team cup, you need to comment below 
that you are interested. You, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be a part of it. Um, but if you are, you need to be willing to go all in and you need to push and you need to work your butt off for this to happen. Um, I, I don't want to set a limit. Like I, you know, what if one coach gets 25 points? You know, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want it to be more of a team effort. Um, so, you know, open up a message thread, really push each other, comment when you get points, all that good stuff. And we'll keep track of it and go from there. So this is meant to be fun. This is meant to motivate you. This is meant to push you out of your comfort zone. We're going to kind of mix up the team. So you may not be with your coach. You might be with somebody else's coach. Um, but sometimes it's nice to hear things from somebody else or get pushed by somebody else. So um, the competition is on. Let the fun begin. Um, like I said, I'll post this in the team page. You can comment below. I'd like to get the team set up by tonight. So I'm going to say comment by um, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time that you want in the team. If you don't comment by 8 o'clock, then snooze you lose okay so um, I'm hoping we can get five teams together so that would be 15 people um, and that would be a great number and a lot of us pushing for making this the best month yet so I will post this in the group let me know what questions you have otherwise um, let the games be in right so oops there we go. All right. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the month. I know some of you are still pushing for success club today and it is totally doable. It's totally possible. Um, you don't give up until that final buzzer tonight. Um, keep pushing, keep inviting, send out five more invites during lunch. You know, kind of my, what I'm focusing on with my invites starting now and kind of through the rest of June is you know, I know it's summer. I know you're busy. I know your kids have ball games, but that doesn't mean that you have to put yourself on the back burner. You know, figure out your niche, figure out who you're talking to and really draft up those posts that way. Have conversations with them, listen to them, push that sale because that really is such a great deal and they're getting so much out of it. So, all right. Have a great day, you guys. Can't wait to see the team cup start tomorrow and we'll go from there. Talk it. Blah, take care. Bye.